Welcome back, investors, to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam. And any concern that Omicron and its impacts on the supply chain, labor market, and the travel industry would slow down Alphabet's momentum was put to rest after the company crushed its Q421 EPS and revenue estimates. There was no lit up in the strong advertising spending that has defined Alphabet's recent run in blowout reports which now stands at seven straight quarters. Strength was broad-based once again, with retail particularly standing out, leading the way to a 32% increase in advertising revenue to $61.2 billion. The robust digital advertising market that spurred Alphabet's remarkable performance did not translate into an earnings beat, though, for meta platforms which still saw challenges from Apple's iOS changes made last year. Compared to Alphabet, social media companies like Meta Platforms, Snap, and Pinterest have been affected more severely by Apple's iOS privacy changes. However, and encouragingly, YouTube, the only Alphabet platform that was slightly impacted by the iOS changes in its Q3 quarter, didn't appear to be significantly hit this quarter at all. After direct response advertising revenue slipped a bit last quarter, Alphabet's CFO noted during the earnings call that YouTube's 25% jump in Q4 advertising revenue was driven by strength in both brand and direct response advertising. Accounting for 85% of Q4 revenue, Alphabet's advertising business is front and center, but it doesn't tell the full story of the quarter. Here are a few of the other key factors. Led by the Google Cloud platform, Google Cloud generated revenue growth of 45%. Google Workplace is one platform service that continues to draw high demand due to remote work trends. In Q4, the application experienced significant growth in both seats and average revenue per seat. As Alphabet ramps up its investments in cloud, the segment's operating losses widened to a loss of $890 million from a loss of $644 million last quarter. However, this isn't overly concerning for investors since the focal point is on growth in capturing market share. Other revenues climbed by 22% to $8.2 billion due to the successful launch of the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro mobile phones. In fact, Alphabet set a quarterly sales record for Pixel, despite facing significant supply chain challenges. And the cherry on the top is that Alphabet also announced a 20 for 1 stock split that it believes will make the stock more accessible to a wider range of investors. It's also very plausible that the stock split is intended to make Alphabet a more realistic option to be added to get this. The price-weighted Dow Jones Industrial Average sometime relatively soon. Expectations were high heading into Alphabet's Q4 report and the company delivered once again. The internet giant is simply an advertising juggernaut that's capable of overcoming significant macro-related headwinds. Its impressive results should have pointed to a bullish data point for Meta Platforms, Snap, Pinterest, heck, even Twitter. But Alphabet also set a really high bar that those companies just won't be able to jump over. Well, that's what I think about Alphabet's earnings. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about Alphabet's revenue growth and capturing market share? And remember, your comments make these videos so much better. Smash that like button, share this video, and click the first link in the description for our top 10 list and so much more. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.